when we're on the road every day and we're performing every night, that's kind of like our practice. Like we learn something new every night on the road and we learn how to do something better every night on the road. I think it always helps to, to get into the groove of doing more than just like two or three shows because then you'll know what works better and, and it, it really is a good practice. Even when we're not on the road, we like to like go home and work on acting, singing, writing music, all that. And uh, it's just good to get into a groove and try to like continue to do it. I think the ultimate performance for us would be to perform at the Grammys. I think that would be an amazing feeling, um, being there in front of all those other artists. And also winning a Grammy wouldn't be bad either. So, you know, that would be awesome. We've always dreamed of playing at the White House, and we've done that twice so far. And for us, that was amazing, and we couldn't do anything else. And I think also, you know, opening for one of our favorite bands, like opening up for the Rolling Stones or U2 or something amazing. He's one of those amazing bands out there. An example of our really crazy schedule is where we'll hit like basically 10 cities in three days and we'll kind of just you know, go do a city in the morning, in the afternoon and at night and we fly on a private jet everywhere so we can get there in time. And uh, you know, it's a pretty crazy schedule, pretty crazy life, but we love it and we always think that we'd rather be doing that than be at home sitting around wishing that we were doing it. There are things that might be oh, like annoying in the moment. But then, like, the next day when you see that you have a number one record here and there, it's just like, it was worth it. And whatever you had to do to get there, it was all worth it. It's just about, um, you know, just being able to do what you love and doing it as much as you can, and it's just a lot of fun. I think one of the most important things about being in this business is staying humble. And I think that our, our family is, is just a really strong family. We have a good family base, and that's what we've always, always believed in is uh, being there for each other and you know just being there to hold each other down whenever something might get a little crazy in your head's a little getting a little bigger you just kind of got to be there for each other to be like hey man chill out what my parents have said from day one for us is live like you're at the bottom even if you're at the top and to us we've taken that to heart we've really lived like it and we don't let little things mess with us we try not to sometimes they do everyone has their moments but really we try to find what is worth fighting for. Because we have wonderful parents and great family around us to make sure that we're in check, especially our brothers. Um, we're always looking out for each other. We know that we're a band that is gonna be different than, say, other bands out there who believe they're the biggest thing in the world. We understand, you know, that, that this is an opportunity that we're not gonna take advantage of it. My parents, <laughs> they'll make sure that you're not big-headed. And uh, little brother Frankie, so will he. So uh, we got a whole bunch of really great people around us as well, and it's just a good team, and we know how to keep it real. We have a very specific idea of who the Jonas Brothers are and who we are as, you know, members of this movie as well. So we've been able to really pay attention and really focus in on that, and we're just really honored and blessed that we've been able to have the people that keep us grounded and, you know, finding really good friends on a movie set or, you know, our good friends at home that, you know, come hang out with us when we're working so much. And having people understand that even though you're not there, doesn't mean you're not thinking about them. We never want to become that arrogant rock star ever. You know, that's not our dream or goal. And those people are definitely out there. We call ourselves, like, the good rock stars in this. Um, we, like, you know, we don't, we don't go, we don't party or anything like that. We're not like that. We, uh, we like to try to set like a good example. We want to be able to be a family band in the sense of their, their parents feel comfortable with their kids listening to our music, but we're having a good enough time for the kids to enjoy it with their parents. So it's one big circle because for us, it, we're family. It's three brothers and you know we travel, we do everything together as a family. So it, I think it really comes through and especially with you know our own personal beliefs and our own personal morals. You know We don't want to do things that typically others would. And for us, we just hope that kids can look up at us and say, yeah, these kids are good boys and role model for my kids and you know for my friends and so hopefully one day we'll get we'll hear that feedback and we'll know from fans which we have been that you know we are a role model we're doing a good job because if it's without that then we're not doing our job well we like to try to set a good example for you know our, our fans our younger fans and all our older fans all that um, because you know the, the world is kind of like a dark place and we just want to try to make it brighter <laughs> Being on stage is much different than being in a movie. On stage, you only get one chance to sing a song and perform. In a movie, if you mess up, you can just stop and redo it. Action! That's the girl. No, that's the song. 
<laughs> but when you're performing on stage, the rush that you get when you first walk out there and see 10,000 people, 11,000 people screaming and just going crazy, you're just kind of like, wow. And I think there's always that moment where you have to take it in and just kind of like look at the crowd and be like, wow, I'm blessed. And you know, it's just a cool feeling and we love it. The minute you think that what we do is a job, is the minute you should stop what you're doing. We live the dream, we really do. That's one of our slogans is, live in the dream, baby, live in the dream. And so every single day we wake up to a brand new experience, brand new amazing opportunity that we get to do and that so many other people are dying to do. My work is my play, for sure. We have so much fun what we do and we'll never regret it, you know. Being on stage is, is one of the most fun things you can possibly think of. Sometimes I, I look back on videos like of our performance and I'll be like, did I do that? I get in the moment, you don't even know what you're doing and it kind of just comes. And um, the same thing happens with Joe. He'll look back on videos and be like, wow, that was crazy. Look how high my leg got up when I did that kick. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's nuts. It's nothing like you can explain. Seeing all those different faces and all those different cities, you know, the only thing that's different is like the same fan reaction, but like different, different accents because you're in California the next day and then New York, you know. So you really, it's really a lot of fun. and. They're always screaming and our fans are, our fans can get crazy, but we love it, we love them. When Joe starts playing the song, he goes absolutely just crazy and it's awesome. And he does all these crazy moves, he does these crazy high kicks and you know, I, I run around with my guitar, spin around, jump off things, do as many things to keep myself moving and keep the crowd energy up as possible. Like literally, there's been points in a show, I have felt like my chest was on fire because I did not stop running did not stop jumping up and down, did not stop like yelling, you know, and it was awesome. It was so much fun and that to me is when you know, is when your body, it's like when you give every possible thing you can ever give into that performance to the point where they know they're tired from watching you, but they're not tired because they're pumped.